Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the inlet water valve on your top load washer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need access to the back of the washer and we'll also need to disconnect power to the washer. So we'll pull it forward, unplug the washer, we'll turn off the inlet water supplies and disconnect the inlet hoses. Now that we have access to the back of the washer, our next step will be to remove these three quarter inch hex head screws. And these secure the console to the back panel. Now once we've removed them, we'll just tilt that console slightly forward. And then as we're facing the back of it, we're going to push it a bit to the left. That will disengage three little plastic tabs that slide into the main top. We can then just lower that down and then we'll access the mounting screws for the valve. Now with the control panel removed, next we're going to disconnect the individual wire harnesses to the coils on the old valve. Simply pull them off and pull the harness out of the way. Well, that will give us better access to retaining screw at the very bottom here. Now that gives us better access to the screw at the front of that valve. Remove that one, as well as the one on the end. And then we can pull that valve away from the back panel. And we can pull it up far enough that we can release that clamp. Slide that clamp down onto the hose and grasp that outlet tube right at the valve, twist it to break any bond that may have formed, and then pull the valve away. And then discard the old valve. Now, when installing the new valve, we'll begin by inserting the outlet tube onto the valve first. Now before we move that clamp up into position on the valve, we're going to rotate that valve, line up the inlets with the slotted openings on that back panel, and then pull it down into position. That will prevent that hose from kinking. Now once we have it in place, we'll squeeze that clamp and slide it up onto the valve. Insert the retaining screws. Tighten both of those securely. And we'll rotate that harness back into position. Red connector will go on the left side and the blue on the right. That corresponds with the cold inlet and the hot inlet. Now we can tuck the harness down into that opening, make sure it's behind the lip of that top panel. And then we're going to line up these three tabs with the three slotted openings on the top. Drop it down into position and we'll push it all the way to the left and then lay it up against the back panel. Now we're ready to put the retaining screws in the back. So make sure that that back panel is tucked in underneath the top edge of the console and lays up against it. Line up the screw holes and then secure it. we 
we're now ready to reconnect our inlet fill hoses. We'll turn on the water, check for any leaks, and then we can push the washer back into position. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.